What's up everybody? Bandit back with you again. So today I'm actually not gonna go for a ride, but I'm going to wash the bike. It is extremely dirty. And if you can see in the camera here, just all that nasty bug guts all over the front of this thing. I mean, it is just very, very nasty from the last few rides that you can see there. So going to do a thorough wash on it. So a lot of times what I typically end up doing is just in my garage using this waterless car wash. Uh, this one happens to be by Chemical Guys. I like it a lot. I have another one by another company called Enthusiast. That is a ceramic waterless wash that I'll use as well. So just kind of whatever I have on hand at the time for a waterless wash. But when it gets nice and disgusting like this, I do a thorough wash on the bike. So I'm just gonna kind of show you how I go about doing that. I mean, it's nothing special, but what I use and how I do it. So first things first is I am going to cover the intake right here. So that way it's just not getting saturated with water and then possibly sucking water into my engine. So all I do for covering the intake is just getting a plastic Walmart bag, Winn-Dixie bag, Publix bag, whatever you got, they're free whenever you go get groceries. So I just take one of those and I just simply wrap it around the breather or the intake and then just kind of tuck it up behind it. So it's kind of nice and tight right around the breather just like that. So then I have a Harbor Freight 1750 PSI pressure washer that I specifically use only for washing vehicles and the motorcycle. Um, doesn't really do a great job with trying to pressure wash a house or anything like that, but it works great for vehicles because you don't need, you know, 3,500 PSI to wash a vehicle. So just turn this little guy on. It's an electric one. Oh, need to plug it in. All right, and so all I do now, it's an electric pressure washer, so you don't need to worry about gas or anything. Just turn it on, there's pressurized. Make sure it's got all the air out of the lines. Now I'm just gonna wet everything down. Pull that tip out and then this is a foam cannon this one is by the enthusiast company that i was talking about earlier uh dirty max jack is his youtube channel if you want to go check him out all right so this is actually the first time using this foam cannon i had a foam cannon through amazon and uh last time i washed the bike i actually dropped it and it broke so i bought a new one uh so now you just have to kind of set it up to make sure you get the the spray that you want so it looks pretty good I'll turn it up a little bit see what we get yeah there we go all right and so now i just spray the whole bike down actually one thing first is uh, I got some bug and tar remover here to spray on the front of this to just kind of pre-soak for all of that bug guts. So apparently it was like a weird off-season love bug season recently down here. And so they were everywhere and you end up just like annihilating them as you ride. But let that pre-soak and we'll start spraying the bike down with the foam cannon. All right, so that's all sprayed. So I also use the two bucket system. So I've got the suds bucket here and then the rinse bucket there with the catch in the bottom for any dirt. And so I'll start with just this mitt. 
just a microfiber mitt. Get a little bit of suds on it. But I got a ton on the bike already. And we just kind of start cleaning it. All right, now that all the painted surfaces have been wiped down, I also have this mitt, which is in the shape of your hand. Just another microfiber. And so now this just helps you to be able to get your hand in and around all the stuff within the engine area to kind of scrub all of it. A little bit easier. A lot of tight spaces in here, so that big mitt ends up getting caught on a bunch of stuff. So this little guy definitely makes it a bit easier to get in everywhere. All right, now that all that's done, we just take off the foam sprayer and then we put back on our sprayer tip. Spray it all down again. All right. Now that the main wash is done, it's another microfiber drying towel. Dry everything down. And then typically what I do is I'll kind of let it sit for a little bit and let the bike drip dry because no matter how much you dry it, there's always, always, always water that's in places that you can't reach that will continue to drain out and drip. Uh, so I kind of let it all drip dry and then I go back over the whole bike again with the waterless wash or a, uh, you can also use a um, quick detailer as well just to get any water spots off and make the bike nice and shiny. And then after it's all said and done with drip drying, uh, I do the waterless wash or the detail spray inside the garage and I put the bike up on the lift and that's also when I clean the wheels because uh, then I can spin the wheels and get to them more easily to clean everything. But I'll show you that once I'm done letting the bike drip dry. I'll come back to the video and uh, show you the final steps of me cleaning and detailing the bike. All right. Man, she looks a ton better than what she did. A nice shine back to her. Still some guts on the front, but I'll get that with the wireless wash. When I do the final detail on it. So now I just let the bike sit, kind of drip dry out here where it's, you know, sun going down so it's not too hot. And then uh, I'll pull it inside the garage and we'll finish up this video I'll be back with you guys in a little bit all right so now that everything has had time to kind of drip dry um, I'm going to remove the saddlebags remove the trunk get the bike up on the lift and then go through with the waterless wash kind of get any water spots off all that give it a nice shine and then also clean behind the saddlebags clean the fender in there that you can't get to with the bags on everything like that so I'm going to go ahead and remove all that stuff, get the bike up on the lift, and I'll be right back. 
All right, so we got the bike up in the air, got the bags off, got the trunk off. So there's the trunk, bags are over here. So now we're just gonna spray everything down with the waterless wash, wipe it all down, and put it all back together. But it should be pretty quick, this last step. So you just need two microfibers, one for cleaning, and then the next one to buff after you clean everything. So first thing we're gonna do is just spray our wireless wash on and start scrubbing with the one microfiber. So I went ahead and lowered the bike down a little bit to get the wheels back on the ground. So that way the bike isn't, the front end isn't turning on me when I'm trying to clean it as bad and trying to hold it and scrub at the same time but I'll get the bike back up in the air to do the wheels. So I've taken off the bags and now allows you to get to this section here, which is typically covered with the bag as well as all of this here for your frame. Now that all that's been done, just take a clean microfiber, which I have here, and just buff it all off. All right, now that all that's been done, we do the saddlebags and the trunk. So now that's done, um, move on to cleaning the wheels. So I've got this wheel brush here and I've got wheel cleaner. So I'll just lift the bike up a little bit so the wheels can spin. Make sure they're fully dry. All right. Now we just wipe it all down. And it's the same thing for the back wheel. So, simple as that. Bike is done. I won't worry about showing you guys putting it all back together and everything else because you've seen that in previous videos. Uh, if you haven't, there's a few videos that show removing the bags and everything else. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do the back wheel and put the bike back together. But that's what I do to clean the bike when it is extremely dirty. Um, like I said, I will just use the wireless wash if it's just some dust and stuff like that on the bike and it just needs a quick clean the wireless wash works great for that but when it gets as nasty as it was from just rain and bugs and dirt and everything else then i'll do a thorough wash on it using the foam cannon then getting it into the garage letting it drip dry then 
cleaning the rest of the bike with the wireless wash to get any water spots off and cleaning the wheels as well as behind the saddlebags and everything else. When I typically just do the wireless wash, I don't remove the bags in the trunk. I will just clean the bike with everything on it, but then I will do it when I do a thorough clean. So it just gets everything. Anyways, I hope you liked the video. If you have any questions about anything or the uh, exact products that I use, uh, just go ahead and ask it down in the comments down below and I'll be sure to answer to the best of my ability. And as always, stay safe out there, keep the rubber side down, and I'll see you on the road. Bandit out.